Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're gonna be going on a Funko Pop hunt here in Orlando, Florida. We're gonna be checking out a few stores that we usually don't go to for Funko Pops, such as this Party City. And let's go ahead and show you guys what we can find. On top of Funko Pops, we're also gonna be looking at other different collectibles. So let's go. All right, so the first store we are going into today is Party City. We have seen a few TikToks where people are finding some pretty good stuff in here. So let's go see what they got. All right, so we did find the Funko Pops we were looking for. Um, and they do have this special edition Kakashi Anbu Funko Pop, number 994. This one's pretty cool. Got the special edition sticker though, the old one. But yeah, it's a cool pop. They also have this glow in the dark Naruto six path of Funko Pop. But you do see this was the production date of 2021. So these pops have probably been sitting here for a little bit. They also do have the special edition sticker Izuku Midoriya glow in the dark Funko Pop. This one's pretty cool. Has like a different outfit on than what we're used to seeing. This one was uh, produced in 2022. So again, these pops have probably been sitting here for a bit. Um, they do charge $20 for their uh, special edition Funko Pops, so they're pretty cool. But this is the main reason why we are here. I did want to go ahead and check out this glow in the dark um, Mara Uchiha. And this one is the Dragon's Trading Exclusive Funko Pop that Party City has actually been getting in. So this one's really nice. I do want to go ahead and pick one up since um, I actually am trying to collect all the Akatsuki members. So this one is definitely a good find. And then obviously like the common pops, they are priced differently. They have Mighty Thor from Thor Love and Thunder. They have Lola Bunny, Sir Night Eye, Ryuku. Um, they got some of those uh, Marvel Lucha Libre, Lightyear, Fantasia. So just different pops kind of like scattered in um, on besides the exclusives. They also have this uh, Legend of Korra special edition sticker as well. Um, this one does have a little bit of damage, but they have a second one there. But yeah, this one's cool. Um, and this was produced in 2021 as well. And then also they have these uh, Jurassic World Dominion uh, mystery minifigures. So it's funny enough, we actually did an unboxing of these. Uh, we found them at like five below for like five dollars each. Pretty good price. But yeah, they have them here for seven dollars each. And these are pretty old, so it's nice to see in store still. Our next stops, there's been a lot of posts recently of some pop Funko Pops coming to Marshall. So we're gonna go ahead and check this out. There's also a Ross over there. So we can go ahead and see if there's any discount collectibles as well. But yeah, let's go inside and see what we can find. All right, so here we are in the toy section of the Marshalls. And you guys can see right here, they do have a Blink-182 um, album set. So they got the record over here, the album cover, and they got the three figures on there. I am curious to see how much something like this would be here. And it's only 20 bucks. So if you guys uh, do remember, this thing retails like I think like 50, 40 something bucks. So that's not bad. I will say there is damage on the actual plastic itself because like, they do come with like a little bit of a wrap. But someone did scratch it. So that honestly is a little bit, you know, it sucks that the actual plastic itself did get scratched up. So I personally do not collect Hot Wheels, but they do have these uh, character cars. And this one right here is of uh, Chewbacca from Star Wars. So that's a cool one. And then they have this um, Pop Culture Roadkill Rotson Motor Trend collectible here as well. But yeah, these Hot Wheels are just sitting here. And then there's also this uh, 65 Dodge Coronet. And this is also pretty cool. They got the Zubats Midnight Flight uh, Mega Constructs over here. I wonder how much it is. $7.99 for it. That's not bad. And it seems like it does connect with another set. So that's nice. All right. We're going to go ahead and check out Ross since uh, Marshall's only had that one Funko Pop. So right away, this one's pretty cool. But they do have like a Disney 100 collection of the Mattel uh, Cars figures. So it has like the Cars gang, but they're all silver. Kind of like what uh, the Disney 100 figures is doing. And these are $12.99, does have a tear on it. And then here on clearance, they do have this Firestar figure. It's a Marvel Legends and it's a Kenner figure. So that's a pretty cool one. Honestly, these super figure collection figures are so cool. This is a uh, Ghost Files Yu Yu Hakusho. And then this is Yusuke right here. I'm using the spirit gun. So this is pretty nice. This is the first time I've seen the Nezuko figure. This is like the demon version of her. So this one is a uh, $14.99 as well. Pretty sure I showed this the last time, but here we have the Fire Lord figure. For $5.99 here. Again, this is the Hasbro Marvel Comics. So this is a nice one as well. And then here we have a Marvel Legends series figure, Sabretooth from X-Men. Again, $5.99. It does have some damage to it. And here we have these uh Spider-Man Hot Wheel character cards. You can see the different Spider-Mans. We got Miles Morales, Venom, Spider-Man, um, Spider-Gwen, all for $12.99. So this is actually not bad. It comes with a set. And then these are all the cards that are inside of them. So this is a pretty nice one and for only $12.99. And then finally, for all the Funko fans out there, we do have this uh, trading card, Prism Charlotte Hornets Lamello Ball, a Funko Pop trading card. And they have this priced at, this one does not have a price, but go ahead and check it out. 
and then here we have this uh mirrorverse uh figure of sully right here this thing is massive it's huge yeah, i didn't actually, actually didn't know this but these are produced by mcfarland toys and these are priced at 7.99 so only seven dollars and 99 cents for this massive uh sully figure so that's pretty cool all right so we are now outside of Colosseum of comics and gamestop where let's go ahead and check in both of those stores to see what they got all right guys so here on the inside they do have quite a few different funko pops they have a lot of older stuff here you can see they got this hot top exclusive uh, dapper jack Huntington, a little bit damaged they have quite a few of these uh, zero pops like the older ones they got vampire jack the common version of him target exclusive uh, mickey mouse this is a pretty cool pop they got the uh, PUBG uh, survivor pop right here a little bit damaged but only 12.99 so it's not bad for an older pop and then up here they do have that harry versus voldemort funko pop that's a nice one um i do eventually want to pick up this jake sully right here like the pop ride on the Turok. there's also the jungle cruise funko pop but this one was missing a sticker that was a huge controversy on that pop right there that they were shipping without the sticker for those who are fans of some video games they do got a few of these halo pops right here the spartan mark 7 they got the Terrell from uh, diablo and they have the swarm sniper from gears of war and then they actually have a like stitch collection over here so this is an fy exclusive stitch with the frog they got stitch with the plunger um just like regular common stitch on this side over here they got the monster stitch and this is like an fy exclusive this one's actually really neat i don't think i've seen this one ever before 29.9 they also have a gamer stitch so this is like an older style for sure um it's a pretty cool mold i've never seen stitch like that uh gamestop exclusive this one's 24.99 and she's not that old it's like 2022 so not too bad and then they have the original stitch right there they do have the older uh, lilo funko pop one of the original ones this one's produced in 2020 for 14.99 that's a cool one they have a uh, lilo with pudge this is one of the newer molds stitch in his rollers annoyed stitch stitch with the ukulele and a hula stitch and this is a cool one to find in stores but they do have the Mattern horn bobsled with the abominable snowman disney parks exclusive and this one is 39.99 and then they have a few older pops here with the lost figures they are pretty damaged but that is just cool to see some of the older stuff um bray wyatt they have like this holiday exclusive version of him that goes in dark from walmart that one is 24.99 and then here they have some new of the uh harley quinn pops so harley quinn and poison ivy like two pack right there with the uh, special edition sticker down here, we got an E.T. with the glowing heart, some Dawson's Creek pops. They do have this Galactic Toys exclusive Tommy. I'm not sure if there's a chase to that one, to be honest. They got the Max from Season 3. The 11 with the Egos chase is a nice one. The Twilight Saga. That's an old pop right there for sure. What is this from? 2016. Wow. It's crazy. $24.99. Then we have the Concept Series Star Vader. These are cool. I remember when there was like some convention ones that came out for these. And this is a really nice one. They got Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. And how much this one is? $34.99. It's not too bad though for the mold. It's a older pop. And honestly, it comes in a pop protector. That's pretty cool. And they actually do have the 2023 Fall Convention Freddy Bones here uh, for $24.99. It's not a bad price on it. They got the Uncle Fester Walgreens exclusive. Um, Gerald Chase version from Netflix series and then Valkyrie from the 2018 summer convention and then for all the Fortnite fans they do have some of the older pops in here from the series they also got this E3 sticker you know they're not going to be producing that sticker anymore um, because E3 is obviously canceled and this is from 2019 so it's a pretty cool pop I don't think I've seen this one but this is the specialty series a scar from the villains it's him laying down I do kind of like these pops it's not too bad and $14.99 so pretty good price on it too and this one's kind of hidden in the background, but they do have the Super Grover, which is the first Sesame Street Funko Pop. Much older line, $34.99 for this one. Not seeing the year that it was produced, but definitely a cool one to add to your uh, Sesame Street collection. And they have a few of these 10 inch pops, but they got this T-Rex here, this 10 inch Target exclusive version from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. They also have this uh, Bumblebee, which was the Fun on the Run 2023 exclusive. A few more 10 inch pops. Then moving over here, we can see a few signed pops here of Trini and the Pink Ranger. They also have this uh, Dragon Shield Red Ranger as well. And they have Zack from Power Rangers. In their case, they also have a ton of these Minato Glow Chases. And they do have a bunch of different statues that you can see here on display. I love this Naruto one right here because they actually put a lot of detailing on the shading on the face. 
They also have a Naruto Uzumaki box lunch sign pop and a Naruto Hokage sign pop that's a glow chase as well. And if you are a fan of dwarves, they do have a few of these um, like exclusive dwarves. We got some chase versions here, some fall convention exclusive ones. So those are cool. More statues on this side. They do have this 2021 Funimation exclusive All Might uh, Glow in the Dark version. All right, guys. So I actually didn't was not able to pick this one up um, from FYE. So I do want to see how much they're charging for this one. $17.99. I think I might go ahead and pick one of these Spider-Man 2099 ups to add to the collection. Again, the Across the Spider-Verse right here. This pop did not last very long. And then moving towards this case, they do have the San Diego Comic-Con sticker Enmu pop, the Glow Chase Susamaru that's been releasing at Walmart recently. They also have Yomi Chase version right there. This is the special edition sticker though. Moving to this side of the case, they got the New York Comic-Con sticker Yuji, a few of the Master Orochi sign pops. They got Nappa as well. Fully holified Ichigo. They got some Hunter Hunter pops and a Luca chase pops as well the cool thing about the store is they feature these full size scaled um, models like this one right here is iron man we got some busts right here so this is a spider-man got wolverine captain america batman and then over here on this uh bookshelves they do have a few of their star wars pops um oh my god this one's super controversial the general grievous walmart exclusive as you guys know this one restocked and then the value just kind of plummeted so now it's only 14.99 this thing used to be a grail but with the release of the hot topic one and then them re-releasing this it just kind of dipped down a bit got finn here man learn with the child so i mean as you guys know star wars pops they just announced the nft ones and it just has not been doing too well recently and over on this side they do have some more signed pops this time they got some marvel unsigned pops over here down here you can see some seven bucks a pop series signed pops as well some from split uh meredith over there i mean got a lot of different figures here at the store and if you're a Funko Soda fan, I mean, look at all the different Funko Sodas that they have to offer here. And they just got even more pops around. This Exodia from Yu-Gi-Oh is pretty nice. And we're not going to show every single pop, but look at all the different anime Naruto pops they got here. Um, they also have some My Hero Academia's. Like, all these are My Hero Academia pops. Demon Slayer on this side. So it's just a lot of different pops you can check out at the store. And then here you guys can see they got some more Harry Potter pops. They have a silver surfer hanging from the ceiling. That's super cool. Some of the uh, newer Harry Potter pops. And then over here, they got some Game of Thrones uh, dragon pops as well. And if you're a fan of Spider-Man, they do have the OG Spider-Man here. I knew there was something missing. So they do have a ton of different horror pops here in the back. So they do have the reprint of the Jason pop over here. Got Chuckles, Michael Myers, Pennywise, Blacklight. So they do have um, some more pops that are just from like shows and movies here on their back wall. I'm not gonna show every single one, but you guys could just see the massive collection that they have of pops here to choose from. You got some older stuff here, like that Hulk gold chrome here, the toy soldier. They got some chase ones kind of mixed in too. So got Venom, just, just a bunch of pops, guys. And if you're not a fan of Funko Pops, they do have a ton of different comics for you to go through. Of course, they are called Coliseum of Comics here in Orlando, so definitely gotta check them out. And guys, they have even more exclusive pops here in the front that you can go ahead and check out. You guys can see some chases some older like that leonardo pop right there san diego comic-con pop so it just pops everywhere and comics and they also have these uh one piece funko mystery minis in stock it's nice to find so we did go ahead and check out the gamestop for their funko pops honestly they didn't have anything new from what we showed in our previous mall video so we decided to just pass on like recording any of it but guys cost him a comics there was so many pops like we get to continue recording every single thing they had in the store, but I feel like I was just there forever. But man, like they had so many different pops. I highly recommend if you're in the Orlando area to check them out. And they're pretty reasonably priced too. So if you guys got to this point in the video, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. We really do appreciate the support. I do want to go ahead and apologize because I have not been filming and posting videos. The last time we posted a video was our Call of Duty event over a month ago. This video that you're watching today was actually old recording back in March. Guys, we are going to go ahead and start filming again. We're going to go out on Funko Pop hunts, toy hunts. Work has just been really busy for me recently. So I just haven't had the time or the energy to do so. So I promise moving forward, we're going to try to get back to our weekly uploads. We're going to go on more hunts. We're going to start going back to conventions and providing some awesome content for you guys. And if we can't do the hunts, we can't do the conventions, we're gonna start going ahead and producing some discussion videos 
based on different topics around what we cover here on this channel. Again, guys, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching this video. We really appreciate you guys for tuning on in after so long of taking a little bit of a hiatus. So once again, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you do want to see more videos just like this, please make sure to leave a like, comment down below what you thought of the Fungo Pop Punt, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already to catch up with more videos. Thank you very much, and we'll see you guys on the next one.